I don't know about you, Laura, but even when I was a kid, going from school to the school summer holidays was pretty daunting, just having six weeks of no plans. And then going back to school after the holidays, that was pretty terrifying too. Oh, I remember it well. Changes in routine can throw any of us, whatever they are, and it can take a little while to get back into the rhythm. Yeah, and for neurodiverse children, this whole thing has been so much more difficult. And the last 12 months has affected each and every one of them differently. Yes, and the differences can be really extreme. I've heard stories of autistic kids in lockdown who've really struggled with the lack of a structured school day. But I've also heard stories of those who've really flourished without the pressures of an unpredictable day at school. Face masks have become one of the essential items for when we leave the house. So I've been taking a look at some of the more unusual ones. First up is Mask Phone. It's got built-in earphones and a microphone so you can make phone calls without sounding muffled by your mask. I often catch up with friends whilst I'm out doing my exercise, so if I'm going to be wearing a mask, then of course I could wear separate earphones, but it was quite convenient to have them built in, and the person I called said I sounded good and not at all muffled. On a windier day, it may have helped with that too type of mask and I thought it could do with being a bit longer so I could pull it further under my chin. Next up is AirPods Active Plus Halo Smart Mask. A lot of people who wear single-use masks don't actually dispose of them after every use and likewise a lot of people wearing masks that need the filters replacing aren't actually replacing the filters as often as they should. This mask has sensors inside this silver button that measure your breathing rate. The app then combines that with you need to replace the filter. Before putting in a new filter, you need to use the app to scan the QR code, very much like the 3D knit fabric of high. Now I'm told that it'll offer N99 protection, so that's greater than N95. It'll keep out aerosols, liquids and pollution. The app was only in beta when I tested it, but I personally found the mask itself a better fit than the mask phone one. And longer term, the focus on this product is to protect you from poor air quality. That is, of course, a smaller mask wearing market, although it could be a growing one. I was quite surprised by how bulky this mask was when it arrived, as it feels rather hefty to wear. But that's because inside it hides ultraviolet UVC LEDs. They aim to kill bacteria and viruses for up to eight hours of wear. The companies assured me that the UVC is safe as it never reaches your skin and also that the device doesn't create any ozone so it's not going to be causing a problem for air quality. Now when I first put the mask on it was actually surprisingly comfortable. The only thing was that it does make a bit of sound and I felt a little bit of air coming out here that was tickling my eyes. I was very conscious of all of that whilst I was indoors, but as soon as I went outside, I did stop noticing. At that point, it was just a matter of having to get used to wearing something so solid on my face. And there did come a point where I was quite relieved to take it off. For many, these ideas may be a bit of over-engineering, but if you're looking for a mask with a difference and you're willing to pay for it, then one of these might just appeal. That was Omar. You can find him on social media and all good dating apps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm afraid that is it from us for this week. As ever, you can keep up with the team throughout the week on social media. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.